Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I will be reviewing the camera of the Sony Xperia XA1 Plus and we'll see the different features the camera offers, we'll see the picture quality and while I'm at it I'll also show you what kind of a difference you get in picture quality versus the Sony Xperia XZ Premium. And in this video itself, I will show you what all extra features you get on the camera of XZ Premium versus the camera of the XA1 Plus. Alright, so let's begin. So the Sony Xperia XA1 Plus has a 23 megapixel rear camera. This is the Sony IMX300 camera which was on the Z5 series. And it's also got an LED flash. And the front facing camera is an 8 megapixel shooter with a wide angle lens complete with autofocus. So the front facing camera is underneath that Gorilla Glass 4. So uh, this should be protected against any sort of scratches but I'm not so sure about the rear camera. And I'm not really sure that this lens is made up of plastic or glass. It might be plastic because this is the exact same camera that was on Sony Xperia Z5 and the Z5 Premium. So. I remember Jerry Rig did a test and told us that those camera lenses were made up of plastic so I'm guessing this might be made up of plastic because this is a budget phone indeed. So yeah only time will tell how scratch resistant this lens really is but if there are any scratches if there is any degradation I will let you guys know. So there are many ways you can launch the camera app on Sony Xperia series smartphones and yes this works across all Sony Xperia lineup. You can double press the power button and the camera will come right up you can see minimal lag and uh, you can long press the shutter button the camera will start right up and if you're on the lock screen you can swipe from bottom right hand side to top left just like this and the camera will come right up and yes this double tap power button launch also works when the phone is unlocked there you go. So if you've ever used a Sony phone, you will be familiar with this camera app. Sony uses the exact same app on all of their smartphones. So you, once you launch the camera app, you get into the superior auto mode, which works quite well. And you do get this selective autofocus thing, which works amazing. I really like this feature. You can tap on an object and the phone will focus over there. Sometimes the autofocus is a hit and miss thing, but most of the time you can get it right. And then if you tap on this gear icon, you get more settings like self timer. Uh, 10 seconds is the maximum. You get color and brightness. You get to change the resolution from over here. 23 megapixel camera so you get maximum of 23 megapixel in 4 is to 3 mode or 20 megapixel in 16 is to 9 mode you get object tracking auto capture this is the smile shutter and you get this uh, tap to adjust option you can set to focus only uh, which is the one which I showed you right now or you can set focus and brightness so now the camera will also adjust the brightness according to where the focus is set we set on a dark surface the whole image becomes bright I do not recommend this I recommend you to keep on focus only it's much better and then save location this is something related to GPS touch capture I have disabled touch capture I like to use the physical shutter button and for the most part I recommend that you keep the camera on superior auto mode because it takes good pictures the auto the autofocus exposure everything is set automatically and uh, you can see in this sample the picture quality is quite good
I'm shooting this video with HDR turned on on the XA1 Plus and this is in low light condition. And now I'm recording with the HDR option turned off and you can probably tell this is much better. So I'm going to do the same thing. Try and zoom in here. No problems with the autofocus. So with the HDR turned off, it is much better. So if you think the superior auto mode does not give you enough control over the phone's camera, you can always switch to manual mode just like this. So here you have different options like exposure value control, shutter speed control, maximum shutter speed is limited to one second and you have manual focus. And this is slightly different on the XZ premium. So if you go to manual mode on the XZ premium and launch that menu, you get an option to change the ISO can change the ISO and you can also change the shutter speed now this feature is not available on this so you can see I've changed shutter speed to 1 and if you change the ISO to say 800 the shutter speed will automatically set be set to automatic you can see that's one limitation of this phone but on this phone you can set the ISO and the shutter speed together oh and by the way these lines are completely normal uh, this is because of the LED tubes that I'm using. So if you want this to go, just change the ISO to auto. And there you go, it's gone. So on the XA1 Plus you do have HDR but it's hidden in the manual mode and then you'll have to press this gear icon, then you'll see the HDR option. So if you want to record a video on the XA1 Plus, you just swipe from top to bottom like this. You enter into this video mode and if you go to options, we get HDR video. You get full high definition 30 fps as maximum video setting you do have object tracking you have auto capture which is smile shutter and you do get sony's steady shot option and i do recommend keeping steady shot on because it stabilizes the video all right so i would like to point out one thing that there is no slow motion video available on the xa1 plus and not even 120 fps some of the phones in this price range come with that 120 fps slow mo video but this one does not have it the xz premium does have 120 fps slow mo and obviously you do get that 960 fps cool slow mo video feature on the xz premium and also what's missing is burst mode there is burst mode available on this phone but it's not as good as the burst mode on the xz premium the burst mode on the xa1 plus is called time shift burst so once you capture a picture it captures several pictures in succession and then you can save an individual picture whichever you like but on the XZ premium you can just press and hold the camera shutter button and it will capture around 100 shots in burst mode so that's another difference and obviously on the XZ premium you have 4k video recording and full high definition 60 fps meanwhile on the XA1 plus full high definition 30 fps is the maximum setting you can achieve and other than that we have these camera apps and I think you can download more of these camera apps on the Play Store. So there you go, you just search Sony camera apps on the Play Store and you'll get these different options like background defocus. You can just install this. And you also have this time lapse camera app install. And once you install these applications from the Play Store, it should be available in the camera app menu. So there you go, now we have background defocus and time lapse. Alright, so let's move on to the front facing camera. To open the front facing camera, I just press this camera icon here. And there you go. But there's another gesture you can do to launch the front facing camera. You see, and if you want to go back, just do the same gesture again and you'll be back with the rear camera. So the XA1 Plus has an 8 megapixel wide angle selfie camera. And yes, it does have autofocus, but what it does not have is selective autofocus. And you can see there is no way I can adjust uh, the focus on the front facing camera. It's not even available in the manual settings. So you can see there is no manual focus in the manual settings of the front facing camera. But what you do get is cool gestures. So in case you can't reach the camera button, you just do this. And the selfie camera will automatically take a picture. 
and this is very useful in case you can't reach the buttons and the quality is also pretty darn good so if I zoom in over here you'll be able to read what's written on the box alright so let's take a look at the settings here so resolution is 5 megapixel for wide mode and 8 megapixel for 4 is to 3 mode and once again you have this auto capture thing I do like to keep it on hand shutter it makes my work easier and you do have that soft skin effect and uh, I think that's it and you can also record full high definition videos yeah, with the selfie camera and you do get steady shot which is I think pretty cool And yes, camera apps are also available in the front-facing camera. Alright guys, let's do a quick picture quality comparison between the XA1 Plus and the XZ Premium. On my left hand side here, I've got pictures that were shot on the XA1 Plus. And on my right hand side, these pictures are shot on the XZ Premium. So let's begin with this picture. And you can find all of these pictures down in the video description. There is a link. So this one is shot on the XA1 Plus. This is on 100% zoom. Let's zoom out a little. Again, 100% zoom. You can see the details right over here. Now let's go ahead and check the same picture which was shot on the XZ Premium. And all of these pictures are taken in superior auto mode. So this one is shot on the XZ Premium and you can see there is so much difference. I mean there is no comparison between these two phones. Just look at the details. XA1 Plus, XZ Premium. And you know what, I'm gonna put these side by side so you guys can see at 100% zoom. You can see the colors, the contrast, the exposure, everything is so much better on the XZ Premium. So let's take a look at another photograph which was shot on the XA1 Plus. So 100% zoom, there's a bug sitting over here. So if you don't compare it with any other camera, this picture is quite good. But let me show you the picture shot on XZ Premium. This is at 100% zoom. So let's put these side by side once again. You can see the XZ Premium is so much better, the colors are so much more closer to real life and the noise level is also much less on the XZ Premium. And this is a low light photograph that I've shot with the XA1 Plus. 100% zoom. Alright now let's see XZ Premium. You can see same type of lighting, same picture, same location. The XZ Premium gives a much better result and this is at 100%. There you go. And let's take a look at one last photograph. So this one was shot on the XA1 Plus, 100% zoom. Now let's take a look at the same picture shot on the XZ Premium. There you go. XZ Premium, XA1 Plus. Premium. XA1 Plus. Let's put these side by side once again. You can see the details in this flower. The detail level is so much better on the XZ Premium right over here. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys next time.